in Jesus precious name very quickly Luke chapter 18 verse 1 and he spake a parable unto them to this end that men ought always to pray and not to faint men ought always to pray and not to faint I want to speak very quickly and then we shall pray like we did yesterday subject is results in prayer results in prayer men ought always to pray and not to faint the new living translation version it says one day Jesus told his disciples a story to show that they should always pray and never give up if we are to get results in prayer or answers in prayer three things among many things three things must be in place three things we must do number one determine to pray persistently Determine to pray persistently. Men ought always, always, always to pray. There are people who pray occasionally, but people who pray persistently are few. Men ought always to pray. Ephesians chapter 6 verse 16 verse 18 praying always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit praying always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit We must determine to pray persistently. First Thessalonians chapter 5 and in verse 17. Pray without season. Pray without season. We must be determined. If answers will come, if results will come we must pray continuously that's number one number two determine to pray faintlessly that means tirelessly determine to pray Faintlessly or pray without fainting. The amplified version of that Luke chapter 18, verse 1 says, Jesus 
was telling the disciples a parable to make a point that at all times they ought to pray and not to give up and lose heart. The classic amplified said, we should pray and never give up, never turn coward, we should not faint. The Message Bible also said, Jesus said, told them a story showing that it was necessary for them to pray consistently and never quit. Never quit. Never quit. And that translation said, never give up. Never give up. That's the NIV. Never give give up the bible in basic english says to pray and never get tired and he made a story for them the point of which was that men were to go on making prayer and not get tired and the living bible version tlb makes it very neat one day Jesus told his disciples a story to illustrate their need for constant prayer and to show them that they must keep praying until the answer comes they must keep praying until the answer comes this is a message for someone tonight we have prayed, we have prayed, we have prayed and many are getting tired. Lord, are you not hearing? Lord, will the situation continue like this globally? No, it will not. It can't. Will the lockdown continue, continue like this globally? No, it will not. It cannot. Is the devil in charge of the world? No, the devil cannot be in charge. We are still here. The church is still here. The Antichrist can't reign, can't rule for as long as we are here. Jesus is coming for a glorious church. A church of glory, a church of power, a church of dominion, a church in charge. No, we can't be here and the devil is in charge. We can't be here and the Antichrist is in charge and his people and children are in charge. No. So if you are exhausted and getting tired, Get out of your tiredness. Get out of your weariness. Get out of your faint fullness. I will return back to God. And like the living Bible said, we pray until the answer comes. That is what they used to call push in prayer. Pray until solution happens. P-U-S-H. Push. Pray until solution happens. Or pray until something happens. P for pray, U for until, S for something or solution, and H for happens. So, pick up your fire back at the place of prayer. Refuse to be wearied and be tired out. And the third point will help you. Thirdly, understand that there is no wasted prayer. If the answer will not come, he won't tell us to keep praying. He said, pray until the answer comes. That was the Living Bible version. Pray until the answer comes. Keep praying until answer comes. If answer will not come, he won't ask us to keep praying. There is not a wasted prayer under heaven. I want, you to to, I want to let you know tonight, you are not wasting your time. Maybe it's not even prayer for coronavirus. Maybe it's prayer for something else. There is not a wasted prayer under heaven. You are not wasting your time. We are not wasting our time. We cannot waste our time. Your prayer for that child is about to be answered. Your prayer for the fruit of the womb is about to be answered. Your prayer for personal revival is about to be answered. Your prayer 
for, for, for the healing of your body, the stroke, the, the hypertension, the, the ulcer, the diabetes, the, the prostate situation. Your prayer is about to be answered. Your prayer to change level is about to be answered. Your prayer for a life partner is about to be answered. Your prayer to be set free completely from ancestral and generational curse is about to be answered. If it will not be answered, he won't ask us to pray. Revelation chapter 8, verse 3, all the way to verse 4, elucidates this point. And another angel came and stood at the altar, having a golden censer. And there was given unto him much incense that he should offer it the incense with the prayers of all saints upon the golden altar which was before the throne and the smoke of the incense which came with the prayers of the saints ascended up before God out of the angel's hands there is an angel on standby before the throne of God that is collecting the prayers of the saints and he's offering it as an incense, a sacrifice before the throne of God. And he's continually before God. When will God answer it? At the right time in his time. When will God answer it? When all conditions are in place for the answer. When will God answer it at his right, at the right time? When will God answer it? When every condition is in place for the answer. When will God answer it? When he can take the devil by surprise the most. He will answer it. But there is not a waste of prayer. The prayer is collected. Am I, am I speaking to anybody? Did you hear something just now? He's, he's, the prayer is collected and offered before God as an incense. When will he answer it? At the right time. When will he answer it? When all conditions are set for the answer. When will he answer it? Thirdly, when he will take the devil by surprise the most. But as for the answer, it must come. If he says pray until the answer come, then it must come. Tonight we are going to pray. And we are going to receive our answers concerning the demonic situation on the globe that is hurrying people into eternal hellfire. The situation of coronavirus. We are going to pray. And we are going to trust God for immediate answer. Wherever you are, right in your home, be upstanding and let's appreciate God for his word today. Father, thank you. Blessed be your name. Honor to your name. Adoration to your name. Worship to your name. Ancient of days. Lily of the valley. Jehovah Mekadesh. Thank him in advance. 